Welcome to yet another edition of Nick's Nerd Network Pride Week 3. So, I want to talk to you guys today about my coming out story. So, let's get started. So, I never really had that like big coming out moment that a lot of people have on like TV or a lot of people have on social media because I don't know. To me, it wasn't something that I felt everyone needed to know. I mean, I don't ask people if they're straight. I don't ask people if they're, I don't know. Like, it, it's just such a weird thing to like feel like you have to address. That's like going door to door and saying that like, oh, hey, I'm your neighbor. I'm gay. Just so you know, like that's crazy. It, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I was 23 when I actually first came out to myself. That's when I first accepted to myself I was gay, if you've watched my previous Pride video. And it was, I felt like very late to the party. It didn't, a lot didn't make sense to me. I didn't have really anyone to talk to about it. I was living alone, teaching science in the Amish country, which actually kind of sounds like the plot to Bianca Del Rio's movie, Hurricane Bianca, but it was actually my real life. Except for I also taught math, and I wasn't in drag. So if you haven't seen that movie, it's a great movie. Love it. Hurricane Bianca. Check it out. I believe it's still on Netflix. Anyways, back on topic. I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. I was in a place where being gay definitely wasn't accepted. I didn't grow up in a town where being gay was very accepted. And I grew up in a very religious household, and I was really nervous about a lot of things. A lot of thoughts were running through my mind. Um, so I came out to one friend when I was 23, um, my friend that I actually mentioned before that I went to highball with for the first time, we both, um, were kind of figuring things out at the same time, but we weren't really talking to each other. I think I knew deep down for a little while that he, he was also gay, but I didn't want to like call him out on it, but I'd heard like rumors that he was seeing another guy. So finally I had had it and I said, you know what? Hey, are you gay? Cause I'm gay. It's fine. Whatever. And so we started talking and that was my first gay friend. And we helped each other out, helped our, each other through it. Um, he actually came out to our friend group first. I started coming out to them a little bit after. And it was safe because he kind of paved the way for me there. Um, I came out to some of my other close friends, like my college friends, when I was 24. And then I they, they took it really well. It was actually, um, I, I thought about it for a really long time. And I'd been planning to do a specific weekend. And my best friend was in a kayak with me. And I thought about doing it then, but I didn't want him to feel trapped in the kayak with me. So I somehow slipped it in and we were playing a drinking game and I slipped it in there and one of them yelled, I knew it, which didn't really make me feel great. But they said, no, 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 no. It's not because you're like hyper feminine, which there's nothing wrong with. It's just that like whenever I refer to dating someone, I use like very vague pronouns. I would say like they, or just like, I, I was never specific. Cause I, for me, I hated lying. So I tried to dance around the truth as much as I could. Um, I came out to my parents when I was 25, shortly after I moved to Columbus. Um, I knew it was time to do it. I was super, super nervous. Like, I actually was, like, making myself sick because my stomach was in knots. I, like, literally was throwing up. I was so scared. I was so worried. And it just, it, it slipped out. I actually, um, it will probably go down in history as the time I ruined Easter. There was a thunderstorm. So, I mean, you know gays. We love drama. So, that was the perfect drop backdrop for me coming out. Um, so I came out to my mom on Easter weekend and then my dad found out from my mom. So we first then talked about it to my dad on Mother's Day weekend. So that summer I ruined a lot of holidays. So, but it's a working progress. They're still coming around and keep in mind when you're coming out, it's never easy. Think about how it's never easy on you and it's never easy on the people around you, even though it doesn't really affect them. It's really a personal matter for you. But keep in mind, you have to think how long it took for you to accept yourself and accept what was going on with you that they're also going to need a little bit of time. It's not going to always be right away. They're super supportive. They're going to have questions, concerns, and sometimes they might get upset and say things that they don't mean. That doesn't mean they're not ever going to come around. You just have to be patient. You have to be willing to answer questions. You have to be willing to educate them and show them you're still the same you that they knew you're just not the same you that they thought you were going to be in the future. For a lot of parents, they picture their son or daughter in a heterosexual relationship, getting married and having kids and having the white picket fence and the perfect life. And you can have most of those things with a same gender relationship or like an alternative relationship. And there's nothing wrong with that. But 
your parents are going to go through a stage of mourning where they're essentially like they're essentially mourning the loss of the future you that they thought you were going to grow up to be and they've been planning for for so long so be patient they will come around it's not always easy but things that are easy aren't worth it so hang in there don't be afraid to come out but come out on your own time you'll know when it's the right thing to do that's all i wanted to say thanks again for listening in this is another pride edition of nick's nerd network and this is nick signing off bye happy pride if you like this episode of nick's nerd network please like and subscribe if you have different opinions or would like to share some of your ideas please share these in the comment section below please keep it constructive and friendly thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day